Hey everybody, I just got done picking some gorgeous flowers out in our pasture garden where we have a lot of cutting flowers, uh, including zinnias. And we've got some, not a ton, but some ornamental sunflowers, just a few here and there that I like to gather up for focal points. And then also I've got these calendula. And they are just so beautiful. I absolutely love all of these. Woo. And so I wanna show you how I usually prep a vase. It's nothing spectacular, but it's a, just a foolproof method to make it really easy to make a nice even arrangement. And it makes me so happy. Here are basic supplies. I've got a really cute old uh, antique pitcher as a vase that I commonly use. Um, I've got water, so I happen to have this as my initial vase that I just put the flowers in to keep them hydrated. So I'm just going to pour that in. I'm sure to clean my stems to pull all the leaves off. What I do next is I take clear tape, some real good sticky clear tape that's tough, and I just crisscross it across the top and I pinch this together and I also go this way. So it basically creates a frog, what they call a frog for a vase. Um, like a grid so that you can put little stems in and it helps them stay apart so that they have a nice formation. There's my frog. It's not pretty. It doesn't have to be. Once you get the flowers in there and no one's going to be looking at the tape so it really doesn't matter and I just try to make sure it's nice and sticky on the edges here so it doesn't go anywhere. And then by pinching in the middle it creates a little more space for those stems to go in and this has worked really well for me in the past heard of this tip and hint I'm gonna just show a basic floral design principle here so you want to do your height of your flowers usually at the same height as the vase so cut it about here or double the height so this is one height of the vase then two heights of the vase or if you really want to go tall with some pieces you would do two heights and then one height on the bottom so it's kind of like two-thirds on top one-third on the bottom um, I am not going to do that kind of arrangement today, so I'm going to play around with doing two heights. That kind of puts it in right about, right about there. And we'll see how that goes as I start putting different flowers in. So here's where I am so far. I use that double, that two vase height marker as kind of an initial guideline and then I cut back this one a little shorter that one back a little shorter this one I put it at just one vase height just to give it some nice variation so it starts to have this um, interesting rounded shape to it and it's starting to come together well however I still have some gaps on this side I'm going to work to fill in well this is looking real cute I'm digging that So then I've got my, my other large flower. So just like this red zinnia here on the right, I want to have this large sunflower also be at that one vase height, um, just so it kind of grounds the foundation of the design a little more. But I didn't cut it too short because I want to have some latitude to work with in case I need to cut it down more and I don't run out of height. I'd rather have too much slack than not enough. And I'm also putting it across the arrangement from the other one for balance. Um, you always want to be, even if it's an asymmetrical design, you want to be echoing similar patterns across um, so that it's very balanced. So with this arrangement right now, I'm thinking this needs to get cut down just a tiny bit. Try this on for size. Stick that right in here. Ooh. I'm gonna keep arranging these a little bit. Oh, I'm liking that a lot. Look at that. I think that looks really cute. It's challenging doing vases because it is definitely a 3D project. It's not like you're drawing something or only have one angle to look at. You gotta kind of look at all the sides and say, gosh, is that working? So now what I have left are the three little calendula um, that I'm gonna just kind of throw in throughout can see I still have a gap here I want to fill. I'm keeping them relatively tall because they're more of a thin element and they act a little bit like a filler. 
Um, if you went with that old adage of a container design where you have your filler, thriller, and spiller, the big ones are acting kind of like a spiller in a way because they're at the base. Um, these are your thrillers kind of, and then you've got your little tiny ones that are the fillers. It kind of translates. I love how this turned out. So easy to throw together. Super fun. Such a great way to enjoy all your flowers.